Um, a busy morning as far as construction. <laughs> what is the latest? Yeah, so we do have the total closure of northbound US 131 at 28th Street. So you will be routed off the highway here. You can get back on at Burton uh, and take that all the way back into downtown. But the uh, bad news is there's only one lane open from northbound US 131 Burton through Pearl Street. So you're definitely going to want to uh, give yourself extra time if this is your normal direction of travel. The on-ramp from Wealthy Street to northbound US 131 is also closed at this time. All other ramps do remain open, so you can exit at Wealthy, you just can't get back on at Wealthy. Uh, so just use that as a heads up as you get ready to head out the door. Uh, News 8's David Horak is out live along the roadways. Uh, David, what are we seeing so far this morning? <laughs> Yeah, so far, Tom, the roads are not too bad in terms of the traffic uh, along this lane closure. We're at the one, the lane reduction zone uh, from 36th Street, uh, just south here of the 32nd Street overpass. And in the distance uh, behind the camera is where crews are starting to work over there, where you are forced to get off at 28th Street. And if you're heading to downtown Grand Rapids northbound, you can actually take Division, which is the, uh, the commute I took from Kalamazoo this morning. So anyway, leading up to this, you may be wondering wondering as you're uh, heading the hitting the road, hitting the commute for school or work if your kids have school this week. The question is if God forbid any emergency happens, you know, how would crews uh, responding to a scene, you know, take this into account? Well, we spoke to Grand Rapids firefighters earlier this week and and they say that, yes, congestion, when this picks up, is one of their biggest concerns, but they're still uh, taking this into account when trying to respond to them in a timely manner. But the big thing is they're asking you at home to uh, cooperate with them when it comes to this. The biggest thing is, of course, something we're all guilty of not doing, and that is give yourself plenty of time if you need to take this route for yourself. They also suggest look at MDOT's website to figure out which routes are closed and a route that may be better for you. And also use those digital GPSs that you have on your phone, Google, Apple Maps, ways to name a few, which will let you know how busy this road can get in real time. Fire crews also reminded us, you need to be mindful when you see those flashing lights on emergency vehicles. Give them plenty of room, pull off to the right shoulder if it's safe to do so. Also, they work with MDOTs to make plans for this, to have an idea with alternate routes to make sure they get the scenes quickly. But anytime there is something like this going on, it may take longer than normal if you happen to be involved in such an emergency. We do have benchmarks that we uh, try to adhere to, but certainly any time that we have congestion, traffic, weather, that uh, does impact our response times. Pun intended, it's April Fools. They're also asking you to now fool around, especially on your phone. State police are enforcing the hands-free law. Donovan will get to that in a second here. But again, they ask you, that is fire crews and MDOT, to keep your wits about you, be extra alert, along with the extra time, both in the rearview mirror as well as, of course, uh, what's in front of you as you see all these lovely unofficial state flowers, the orange cones, the full bloom. Anyway, Donovan, back to you. <laughs> all righty. David,